This is the meat of the, the issue, and if you actually spend time to look at what happened, I think you'd be appalled. Uh, the, remember, they say, okay, we're not going to go and talk to the campaign. We're going to send people in, wire them up, and have them talk to the individuals. That happened. That happened in August, September, and October, and it all came back exculpatory. People say, I don't know, you know. Not, don't know what you're talking about. Not only exculpatory as to a relationship with the Russians, but as to the specific facts. And that, A, they never did anything about that. They just pressed ahead. But B, they never informed the court. They were told they didn't have probable cause to get a warrant. And so they took the Steele dossier, which they had done nothing to verify, and they used that to get the warrant to just collapse everything. They withheld from the court all the exculpatory information, and they withheld from the court information about the lack of reliability of steel. The real interesting thing here, and to me the major takeaway, actually is after the election. Because in January, they went to, steel was dealing with one person. They only talked to one person, and that's the, what we call the primary subsource. And it was that person who had the so called network of subsources. When they finally got around to talking to him, uh, he said, I don't know what Steele's talking about. I didn't tell him this mm -hmm. stuff. Or, you know, it was mostly barroom talk and, and rumor. I made it clear to him this was my own suppositions and theories. And, you know, this is, and, and at that point, it was clear that the dossier was a sham. So what happens? What happens at that point? They don't tell the court, and they continue to get FISA warrants based on that dossier, and more damning, is that they actually filed with the court a statement saying, we talked to the subsource, and we found him credible and cooperative. And they put that in to bolster when the subsource had, had, the actually, had when the, actually what, said when he that, what he was being truthful about <laughs> is that the dossier was garbage. It was nothing, yeah. So uh, it's hard to look at this stuff and... Uh, just very quickly. I think that it was a gross abuse. Let me put it another way. Do you think the judges, the four separate Pfizer judges in those courts, were badly misled? Yes. 